hey, <laughs> hey, you there, you wanna, you wanna buy some good stuff, you wanna buy a mango, just kidding, he's mine, you can't have him, it's my mango, this one too, uh, so good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and welcome to the click, you look and smell absolutely astoundingly amazing today, and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, they would be a horrific, horrific liar, so today we're gonna look at something absolutely amazing, which is r slash confidently correct, about people being very incorrect and very confident about it, so we can laugh at it together. Enjoy. Mwah. And you're sitting there like, oh, I am definitely subscribed to this snazzy channel. Maybe you're confident and correct today. Double check so YouTube hasn't unsubscribed you from my channel. Like they have a tendency to do. Can't even handle this snazzy content. Ah, oh, not sponsored. This mathematical problem can be solved by preschool children in 5 to 10 minutes, by programmers in an hour, and by people with higher education, well, check for yourself. So here is, here's this issue. We have 8809, which is 6, 7, 1, 1, 1, 0, and it goes on. It's like a big combination of things, and when you start looking at this, it becomes apparent that this isn't as easy as you would expect it to be. Please try to solve this and leave your answers in the comments. I would love to see the thought process, because I went through, when I solved this, I went through like four or five different theories until I figured it out, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I made it so complicated. I was like, okay, but it's symmetry from each side counting down. It's the square and it's like, no, no, none of that stuff. But please tell me in the comments your thought process. I would love to read them and uh, we can experience it together. I remember I got into an argument on Reddit a while ago with a person over Italian food. It got to the point they were following me into other subs to harass me. I clicked on their profile to block them, and their most recent post was on them drinking their own urine on r slash piss. <laughs> At that moment I realized I had spent so much pointless time arguing about the taste of food with someone who drinks their own urine as a hobby! This site is a poo hole! This is just internet arguments in a nutshell. Oh my god. It has happened to me so many times that I have someone tag me on Twitter, for example, with some very intense critique, and I'm like, oh. Who is this person then? And the profile is like, a 12 year old super like, no, s stop, go do your homework, please, cease. <laughs> you shouldn't watch me in the first place, God. Uh, good evening. Uh, Lottie's Lasses and Lassos. Uh, this is your captain, Clicky, Thicky speaking. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, the flight to hell. <laughs> uh, the flight is going to take approximately uh, 666 hours. Uh, and it's sponsored by Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Uh, Epic transition. Raycon's Everyday Earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect inner fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not buy. Trust me. They offer 8 hours of playtime and a total of 32 hours battery life with this neat little package. Yum. Raycons are priced just right. You get the audio quality at half price of other premium audio brands. Now also with wireless charging and Siri slash Alexa integration. It is no wonder Raycon Everyday Earbuds have over 49,000 five star reviews. That's so many stars. Personally, I have been using my Raycons for about a year now, and they are a perfect go-to for whenever you're on the run, or if you want to work out, or just have something nice to listen to on public transport. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash to click to get 15% off your own Raycon order. That is right, go to buyraycon.com. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm way too excited. Epic transition. Thank you so much, Raycon, for uh, sponsoring this video. And uh, now back uh, to the memes. Uh. If my son comes out as trans, I no longer have a son. I love how this is trying so hard to be transphobic, but it just comes off so wholesome and sweet. It's like, yeah. You wouldn't have a son anymore. It's so beautiful. Like when people try to make such a strong, emotional, angry standpoint, that just, <laughs> it can mean both things. <sighs> Ah, yes indeed, you screwed on your brain backwards today, didn't you? My Trump-supporting aunt got my cousin a pride cake for her son's 18th B-Day and didn't know. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful, look at that, oh my god! I want this cake, it looks amazing, oh my god, yes! It took me 19 years to figure out NEWS stands for Notable Events, Weather and Sports. Merriam-Webster, no! <laughs> 
This is the kind of stuff that gets you gaslit beyond recognition online. I have so many comments sometimes leave me like the wildest things about things I say in my videos. And sometimes, actually, this is this, this. And I'm like, really? Really? And I have to double check it. I'm like, no, that's not true at all. Is this person just trying to make me doubt myself or is it real who knows let's find out together not even being provocative but if you fear greta thun the bad against the maturity to guide global policy making then you cannot object to jeffrey epstein paying 16 year olds for adult fun times children the planet is dying please do something well if you're so smart why can't i do the notice with you <laughs> checkmate it's very convenient isn't it if you want this argument to be taken seriously you have to Oh my god. This just sounds like a corrupt company. It's just like, oh, you want to climb this ladder? Well, then you have to take off your pencil now and then. Just, just how it works. I don't make the rules, except that I do. Yeah. I think the one critique I have as an engineer of a lot of the environmental movements is that it's easy to complain, but solutions are really tricky. Like, really hard. I remember when reading into thermodynamics and the efficiency rates of different sources of energy, and it's super tricky to find a solution. I, I can't count the number of times. I have read, for example, an article about, you know, oh, this new idea for fuel or, or transmission power or whatever it might be. The most recent one I remember, fresh at the top of my head, was about an airline who was planning to replace all of their fuel, basically, in airlines with some kind of renewable source energy. Looks amazing, you know, surface level. And then you dig into it and you realize they haven't even counted the zeros in their calculations. Uh, with, for this stuff to work, and they would, would actually replace this, it would only account for about 10% of their air traffic. Everything else would go under. And then you realize that the solutions are sometimes hard. Not that we shouldn't try, and I really hope that we start making faster progress in the next few years, but... I don't know. The world is complex, who would have thunk it? Please give me an example of something someone said to you that was so astonishingly stupid that you can never forget it. I wrote an article about poverty on a Native American reservation, and someone sent me an article titled 10 Indian Billionaires, and said, then explain this, and they were all people from India. <laughs> it's not easy when it's hard. This would shatter the male self-harming epidemic. Hey man, you look cute. You should smile more. Hey, lovely gentlemen. You fixed your own computer, you're so smart, that's impressive. Thanks. You look way too good to be a cashier. Men are complimented a lot, so this isn't very rare. <laughs> <laughs> this has so many layers to it. I think the initial comic is trying to make, like, a flip to catcalling, maybe? Something, I have no clue. And then the comment below is just, oh, come, there's just so many layers of just, no, please. <laughs> I'm a man with a grumpy looking resting face. Being told to smile more really gets old really fast. Oh, you should try like the Joker smile. People try to tell you to stop smiling real fast, like... Oh, please stop smiling! Dear God, no, please! That's the kind of look you give someone, you know, across the bar when you see someone fresh checking you out. You're like... <laughs> am I really intrigued or am I a serial killer? You will never know for sure unless you... Dear God, it's... <laughs> Where was this rant heading? Jesus, click! If you believe the moon controls the tides of the flipping ocean, what makes you think planetary alignment can't control human behavior? Because the moon has a direct and significant gravitational effect on the planet, which can be measured and predicted, where stars hundreds of light years away just don't have that sort of effect. Uh, if, if, I, if I push you, you will, you will feel the push, but, but why can't I just push the depression out of you? Explain that, scientist. Yeah, you can't. Sucks to suck. Oh, here is a video. It's probably super educational. Let's watch it together. Let's break this one down. So, intentional weight loss. So, you purposely saying, I want to lose 20 pounds. Oh, it's one of these. No, please. No, please, why? And you might be like, what? Oh my goodness. I'm not trying to be fat phobic, but you mm. are. You're being fat phobic oh, to yeah. yourself. Yeah, because I want to live my life a certain why way. Why do you want to lose 20 pounds? It's probably what? to fit into something smaller. It's probably so people treat you better. It's probably for all the reasons that fat folks are shamed simply for being fat. Okay. So by continuing to perpetuate that, right? seeking intentional weight loss, we are contributing uh -huh. to our fat phobic society. Right. So that's why intentional weight loss is fat phobic.
One thing I don't understand, here's the thing, you should never shame someone for their body. That is not the way to go about anything in life. Don't be a bully, don't don't be a bad person. Gee, only brave statements on this channel. Don't 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 be a douche. <laughs> but in all reality, I, I find it weird with this specific debate that it never seems to apply to anything else. It's like, oh, you're you're practicing reading to compensate for your for your dyslexia. That's something I did, for example, growing up. I tried to read more so <clears throat> I could try to, you know, you better it or whatever, never get rid of it completely, obviously, but it did help to some extent. It would be like claiming that is phobic to dyslexic people. It's like, no fam, it, it, it's fact perfectly fine. I don't, this is just making everything about yourself, Jesus Christ. Just don't try to control other people's lives. If you want to live it your way, that's perfectly fine. Like, go for it. You, you should, if you're happy with it, be happy with it. And nobody deserves to be bullied for it. But this is not the way to go about it. This, this is so wild. You can't be Spanish, no one is. <laughs> I'm not Spanish, honey, no one is Lamau. First of all, Spanish is a language, not a nationality. <laughs> TikTok comments are like the source of intellectual stimulation. I swear to God, in my own TikTok comments, as soon as I make like this Swedish accent because I happen to be Swedish, half of the comments are like, aha! He's trying so hard to be PewDiePie because there's only one Swedish person in the world. And then the other half of the comments are like, No, you're racist for saying that two Swedish people sound similar when they make a mock accent. <laughs> Damn if this isn't 100% true. A secular person, I want to do X. You're free to do it. But you think X is wrong? Yes, because you want to control me. No, you're free to do whatever you wish. But you think X is wrong? Yes, but only because I want what's best for you. But I want to do X. You're free to do it. But I want you to say that X is good. I can't say that. Why are you such... Yeah, but that's... Th no, this is not how it works at all. Like, if that was the case, you could just say like, Oh yeah, you go do your stuff. You do you and be happy. But that's not really where it stops, though. That's, that's the issue. Not that everyone does it, but enough people do it that it becomes a severe problem in, in certain parts of the world. And also, I just want what's best for you. It's like so freaking pathetic. Patronizing. Oh my god, even if this was the case, it's the most patronizing thing ever. I have found love. I am finally happy and I can live life like the person I'm supposed to be. I know what's best for you, honey. It's just a face. <laughs> but I am literally 45. <laughs> Anyway, so let's let's move on, shall we? When Trumpy Wumpy runs and wins in 2024, he will be the first US president to win three consecutive presidential election. Hashtag fact. No, well, first off, no. <laughs> and then secondly, not consecutive. And thirdly, I don't think they can win that many elections in a row, can they? Isn't it limited to like two, right? Or am I completely getting gaslit here? <laughs> this... <laughs> What a good day to come online. Too bad it's proven that the forced naughties doesn't produce children. Oh, really? Let's dig into this biological genius, shall we? Only willing women can get prego. Oh, no, this is... No. The forced naughties ensue stress hormones. Stress hormones? Is that a scientific um, terminology? Making women incapable of carrying a viable egg. This is so toxic. Not only this person spewing complete BS and knows nothing about biology, dear God, but secondly, it's such a gross victim-blaming BS. It's like, oh, if you got prego from this, you actually wanted it, right? God, that's gross. Oh my God. It has this underlaying layer of yuck that's just yucky. Yuck. Agree with Musky Husky that the Trump ban was morally wrong and flat out stupid. Twitter knew that, but they did it anyway to interfere in the 2020 presidential election. He was banned after 2021 when it caused the insurrection. <laughs> Why would you make such a strong public point about, I didn't even care like what the point is about. It's just like, I didn't even Google the dates before being like really angry about something. <laughs> Threaten to tear down statues of the Prophet Muhammad and see how many death threats you get. <sighs> I mean, religious salutary is is uh, is yikes, no matter where it happens. But maybe you should count the amount of statues um, <clears throat> before you try to be a smartass on Twitter. <laughs> The race to zero carbon is not what you think. Carbon is one of the few elements known since antiquity. It's the 15 most abundant element in the Earth's crust, and the fourth most abundant element in the universe by mass after hydrogen. It's abundance, unique diversity of organic compounds, and ability to form- Why are there no punctuation? It's just commas. Anyway, an ability to form polymers in temperatures commonly encountered on Earth enables it to serve as a common element for all known life. Carbon is the most important element in the human body. The carbon they want to reduce is you! No, you're mixing up CO2 with... with carbon. They're different 
things because because like fifth grade chemistry. Um, so oh my god, is this like the new flat Earth equivalent, but for like environmental stuff? Is that what it is? The, you're you're the one uh, ozone carbon. That's you. And your brain is flat. <laughs> no, the difference. Of working class, actual labor, long hours, produces good and value for society. Okay, resource construction, farmers, landlords. What? Okay. Working class, easy and pointless work, max eight hours, but must work less, produces nothing for society. Fast food, workers, restaurant, workers, service, workers, retailers, workers. Okay. You do realize that a supply chain has multiple steps, right? You have like the base, you know, harvesting or, or production of raw materials. You typically have a processing of the raw materials. Then you have like packaging and standardization control. Then you have the shipping and then you have the actual, you know, distribution at your, at your local whatever store. You need someone to manage at every step. Just because someone is at the end of the supply chain distributing it to ye person who wants to go buy food in the store doesn't mean that the work is worthless. Where would the food be otherwise? You're just sitting in a warehouse somewhere. Someone needs to actually distribute it as well. <laughs> what kind of point is this? If the work was worthless, like you put it, it probably wouldn't exist in the first place. Dear God, what? Seven hours ago. Hey, quick question. What is 19 times 34? Please answer quick. Teacher's coming to collect the paper. No one answered. You. Pain. Me. <laughs> and 2x34 is 64, then 20 times 34 is 640. So if 19 times 34 is 1 times 30 feet less than this, then 19 times 34 is this minus this is this. Maybe we should teach math this way. I mean, this is kind of how I do it. I just think you forgot 134. But like, yeah, it's, it's a pretty easy way of doing it. If you ever have something multiplied by 9 or 8, it's a pretty nice way to think about it, because the human brain is very good at calculating, well, even tens, or to some extent fives, but everything else is kind of eh. So counting downwards is a good trick, but also remember to carry the amount of numbers. That can be tricky. Apple, explain what the frick! All right. So look at this. You can cover lenses without the image going out. It's absolutely astounding, isn't it? And then when you cover the last one, that's the camera. So all the other cameras are, are for spying on you, or they're fake. It couldn't be that they're, you know, for different features or something like that, or, or whatever. It would have been such a more funny video if, if the last lens were covered and nothing happened, the video just kept going. It's like... Wait, where is the camera? What? I have fricked dozens upon dozens of the whammons, and not a single one was able to reach the zenith of experience. It is biologically impossible for women to achieve the zenith of experience. <laughs> I don't know why y'all just be lying on this app for no reason for. Yes, indeed, I have done the naughties with many a people, and not a single one enjoyed it. <laughs> Can it be me? No, no. It's the entire gender that's broken. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Why would you do this publicly? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> They want to remove carbon dioxide. You breathe out carbon dioxide. They want to get rid of you. Yeah, but like humans breathing is such a minuscule source of it compared to everything else we consume. So, no, no, that's not, you know, oh my God. <laughs> Some people don't have access to proper naughty education. Some people don't have access to birth control. Some people get forced naughties and become prego. Some people have medical issues where the baby is not viable and or could kill the mother. Your comment on abortion is ignorant as heck. Everyone has access to naughty education. Everyone has access to birth control. Okay. The forced naughty people need to be sentenced to life. Medical decisions can be made regarding health. Your comment about abortion is ridiculous and riddled with error. Yeah, but that's that's like saying just because something is illegal means it won't happen. Like, that's the most naive part about this debate, I think, has ever happened. But nobody is victimized by the forced naughties because it's illegal. Well, also no. But also, if you, if you make something illegal, you also have to realize that that doesn't necessarily stop people from doing it. So even if you are on the point of, like, the other side of the argument or pro-life or whatever you want to call it, you have to realize that this is not really going to stop anything. It's going to stop the safe stuff, but it won't remove it from society. So I think, like, the debate has reached a point of naivete, no matter which side of it you're on. This is an actual screenshot from Newsmax. I did not edit this. Left considers black conservatives to be traitors. So we have uh, <laughs> Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I guess he I guess he had really tanned this summer. Yes indeed, baby. You are like a beautiful rose. Each time you engage in premarital naughties, a precious petal is stripped away. Don't leave your future husband holding a bare stem. Abstain. 
That is so toxic. I mean, everyone to their own. If you want to wait until marriage, if you want to save that for like your your like life partner you want to choose permanently, that is perfectly fine. Uh, for me personally, I think I wouldn't be able to figure out who was my life partner if I didn't have experience before that. Because I didn't know what I liked, you know, all my early relationships when I was a teenager or in my, you know, early 20s or whatever. It was just like freaking hormones all over the place. We was like, oh, my brain likes you. This is going to work great. And then it all blows up. So <laughs> you have to take some time, figure out what you want, figure out what kind of partner you want and learn how to communicate, learn how relationships work. It is tricky. It's not something that just comes naturally. So for me, at least, it was very important to have, you know, experience before I started settling down more permanently. Like I said, that experience may not be for everyone, but I think like drawing this broad line like, oh, you, you become like a picked flower and you will be so ugly and spoiled by the... T no, stop. Cease. If that's their choice by their own accord, beautiful. If they want to figure out who they are in another way, also beautiful. But this kind of manipulative BS Cease. You think Biden is not alive right now? No, the guy that's doing the stand-up job of trying to wake people up uh -huh. is an actor wearing a mask. Oh, I mean, there's several that's different interesting. people playing Joe Biden at this point. All right. And when when he fell up the stairs going on the airplane, I myself think that that was Jim Carrey. I've heard that he was one of them. Based I, on James based wait, on wait, that, wait, wait. He you think that tripped on Jim a staircase? Jim Carrey was wearing a mask, <laughs> and. What was is the that? acting president? And being silly by falling up the stairs three different times. <laughs> you know the funniest part? I think is one of the... Oh, okay, of course, of course. You know what I think is the absolute funniest part about any of these kind of conspiracies? It's like, if that was true, and this was such a world-changing conspiracy, Joe Biden is actually Jim Carrey in a mask, I, I think he would do his absolute best to hide any kind of hint that it was Jim Carrey, but no, let me just, let me just casually fall up a staircase funnily, because that's gonna dog whistle to, to the specific conspiracy that I am in fact Jim Carrey. <laughs> it's, it's like when conspiracy people think that anagrams in, in titles of companies is like, you know, some big conspiracy. Like, wait, if, if you arrange the letter of, of, uh, the click YouTube, you can make it, make it out to be lying poo poo. At the Berlin Wall last week was work. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good po- Yeah, yay. That's not how this works! That's not how any of this works! An orchestra of 120 players takes 40 minutes to play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. How long would it take for 60 players to play the symphony? <laughs> Let me be the number of players to tee the time playing! It's not like painting a fence! The song is still gonna have the same donk donk pace, no matter how many people you have tooting horns. <laughs> Can you imagine the more band members you have, the song just speeds up? <laughs> that would be a funny video edit to do, though. Jesus Christ. Have you have ever seen someone using weed, do you? <laughs> Half my family uses it, and they are almost every month in the hospital for brain damaged and losing much weight. What? I mean, any substance is bad if you if you misuse it. That goes for pretty much everything in the world, but I don't think you got the, got the uh, you know, appropriate uh, side effects right. I have contributed around 160,000 to various landlords over the last 10 years as a renter. Never missed rent, can't qualify for a mortgage. It's not about coffee and Netflix. It's about a predatory system of housing that uses a basic human right as an investment opportunity. She just paid over a hundred dollars a month like you lady. <laughs> wait, so if that counts months, I have to do this. So that would mean you would pay... Oh my god, wait, 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 I have to do this. I have to do this. This is amazing. Oh my god. So that means you have 160,000 divided by a hundred. So you've been renting for 1600 months or 133 years. Nice. Or maybe you just rent like a crap ton of apartments at the same time. You get like a bunch of really good, in insanely good rental deals and then for no reason just like, I rent 10 apartments. <laughs> if you started a stock portfolio with a thousand dollars and added compound interest at 10% a day. Day 30, 4k. Day 60, this is not correct in the least. Well, the math is wrong, and also, where on earth would you find 10% today of compound interest? Also, based on the math, I don't think you did the compounding. It's, this is just all over the place. What? <laughs> this is like if you have alphabet soup, but with numbers, and you're just like, I spilled it over 
stuff. Now it makes sense. $1,000 time 1.1 1 .1 to the power of 150 is 1.6 billion. His uh, day 150 result is off by a factor of 1,500. Yeah, that's what's happened if you miss your compounding. And do you want to become a billionaire in 30 days? Just uh, have a compound interest of 10% per day. It's so easy. I think when it comes to investing, I tend to send away from things I don't quite understand myself. Stuff that is way too risky or or that kind of thing. You can always invest things that you can afford to lose, if that makes sense. But what I personally do is I tend to invest in index funds and more things that are stable over longer periods of time. It might mean that, you know, oh, the money you invest, it will, you know, double in a few years or something like that. But it's, you're not going to see insane return, but it's very stable. You can also do this, for example, if you're worried about missing the ball on, uh, say, the housing market. If you don't have the amount of money to put into a house or, you know, care for a property or whatever it might be, but you're afraid of missing it, you can actually set up a portfolio that kind of very nicely follows the housing market. That is one idea I'm kind of dabbling with myself because, well, housing right now is absolutely nuts. So that's one way um, of doing it. You can go about it in many different ways, but looking for 10% a day or, I don't know, dropping everything you own in some crypto scam and begging Elon Musk to promote it on Twitter, I don't, it's, it just doesn't seem like the most solid financial equation to me. The Great Ice Ball Earth Theory. Regular flat Earth model. We have a lot of Earths here. Sun melts a pond in the ice ball. I think I've seen this before. This is familiar. Traditional flat Earth surrounded by an ice wall. The Great Ice Ball. Possibly hollow. It really went all the way around. You expanded so far on the flat Earth model that it just became a globe anyway. I mean, just a freaking ice blob. But still, dear God. Following her husband's appearance at the Grammys, Ukraine's first lady has granted an interview to Vogue magazine regarding her life under siege. Russian special forces cannot locate the Zelenskys, but Trevor Noah and Anna Winter can. Don't ask questions, trust the science. Yeah, but there's a difference between, like, actually finding someone in person for military purposes and clicking a Zoom link. Those are distinct differences. It would be like saying, you know, Oh, and me watching a click video is the same as, you know, showing up in his living room. Don't do that creepy as heck, but like, damn, it's <laughs> it's so different. By the way, join my Discord server today. It's basically a big, nice household with a big, nice, dysfunctional family. We're all going to hell, but we're going together. Join it today, you beautiful bean. I know you will love it. We have a Minecraft community server. We have fun stuff happening. We have fan art channels. It's just good times, baby. Good times. Woke Ares diversity activist falsely accused black DJ of wearing blackface. Two woke diversity advocates in Arizona are taking heat for accusing a school district of hiring a DJ to perform in blackface. But it turns out the DJ was black. Oh my god. Ugh. It's like when you try so hard to be anti-racist that you literally just harassed a person based on race instead. <laughs> it's like the flat earth model. When you take it so far, just woohoo! Internet never change. What might a Brit say if he slash she is unveiling a surprise? Bob's your uncle or surprise? No, wrong answer. To a Brit, Bob's your uncle is a variant of ta-da. Meanwhile, in Britain, Bob's your uncle, motherfucker. <laughs> can, we, can we do that as a series? I would love to do that as a series. Just like bad translations, you know, you just translate. It's still English, but it's just like in really weird, stereotypical local stuff. And it just sounds so off. Or we can just translate it to Swedish. Hippity hoppity Ikea shut bullet. Think fast. Oh, yes. Listen, that child is going to be a pro athlete. <laughs> <laughs> the timing is just... Oh, it's so perfect. So here's a dude in a bit of trouble. Can chiropractic save lives? What can the power of one adjustment do? This person started experiencing a heart attack during the flight back we are on today. After two oxygen tanks were down, there was nothing else left to do as five MDs, two EMTs, one nurse gathered around wishing the symptoms will get better. That's a pretty packed flight. The pilot was contemplating an emergency landing. After explaining to his wife how removing the interference in his nervous system can save his life, she gave me the consent to adjust her husband. Shortly afterwards, his breathing and heartache return back to normal. To all my fellow chiropractors out there, we honor the creator's design. We know the potential in this body is limitless. Remember, you didn't choose chiropractic. Chiropractic chose you. They're talking about this like they're Jedi. <laughs> you were called at a time like this. Or, you know, they probably gave him meds that kicked in around the same time as, you know, you started crackalackalin. Maybe correlation is not causation would, would be my best guess. <laughs> On a video of a girl downing one beer. 
If she doesn't pass out, it means her liver is able to treat that huge amount of alcohol coming. So she's used to drink, which is called an alcoholic. Huge amounts of alcohol. Lamau, it's one pint. You don't know what you're talking about. Say that to a... So Psychologist? What? <laughs> Psychologist. All right, I guess. Yeah, I better go see my local psychologist about about that one beer someone had. <laughs> what? Kamala Harris triple jabbed, COVID positive. Yeah, but that's not that's not how vaccines work, though. It's like you can still get into a car crash even if you're wearing a seatbelt. You're just much le less likely to get splattered. It's a good preventative measure. It will also decrease the likelihood of being sick. But the point of all this that I always find so intriguing and weird is that it's all just anecdotal. Like if a million people got the vaccine today, and you know, you're, you're obviously gonna find someone who died tomorrow, but it's just because it's so many people. You can always find singular anecdotal evidence to prove pretty much anything you wanna prove and cherry pick for, for any kind of argument if the population is big enough. That, that's just statistical variance. Nothing is 0% or 100% in reality. Getting a vaccine is like, oh, it's going to reduce your mortality rate by, I don't know what percentage, 90%? I don't freaking know, something like that. So you're still going to have people that still get very sick from it or get infected, blah, 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 whatever. But overall, the population, the result is going to be so much better. But you can't, like, prove anything with single-picked anecdotal evidence because even though it is 90%, you're still going to have to cherry-pick, you know, in those last few percent and like, oh, ha, ha, look, it doesn't even work at all. But it's just being silly. Learn statistics. Please. I wore a bulletproof vest but still got shot! Wake up, sheeple! <gasps> Maybe that's the next generation with like magnetic vests that just like bounce everything. It's gonna be really hard to get into a car though. It's gonna bounce away. Damn. Of course not. After puberty, men are 50% stronger than women. Studies have shown that elite female athletes are weaker than untrained men. There is simply no way they would stand a chance. So you're saying you could beat Ronda Rousey in a fight? Easily. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> the, the, there is like a discrepancy here. You know, if you were to say like, oh, there is there is an average difference between the genders, sure, absolutely fine. That's not that's not too controversial. But but you are claiming that there is no overlap. And that that's where it gets wild. Like that that's not the case at all. <laughs> Cease. Dear God. Let's just respect their opinion. If that's what they want, let them be. Lamau lets. Huh? You make a error. An error? Well, okay. Where? Let's. Explain, please. This is so basic. That's, that is. So let's, let us. <laughs> we learned your English, man. Let us realize he's an idiot. He's, wow, what an error to make. Let's, let us, he's, he, us. So basic. Oh, disgusting. What, what, are they, what are they achieving? Well, what they're saying is they want maximum disruption to stop the government extracting oil and gas. Oh, yeah, okay. but that's cooking oil. <laughs> <laughs> We have to stop big bad oil corporations with their silly freaking cooking oil. Oh, outrageous. I was on Tumblr when Yahoo had to sell it for 3 million after buying it for 1.1 billion. We were all a little bit responsible for losing Yahoo a billion dollars. And with that type of collective effort, I believe we here on Twitter can lose Elon Musk even more. I may be getting this wrong, but if they sold it for more than they bought it, doesn't that mean they earned money? 3 million is less than half of 1.1 billion. I mean, yeah. They lost over five million dollars in that exchange. I mean, <laughs> it's technically correct, but the numbers are just so irrelevant. It's like, yeah, it's less than... <laughs> there are a lot of numbers that are less than half of a point one billion. <laughs> Be American. Buy American. Honda. Civic. Yes, indeed. Christian, fourth grade school textbook, try to explain electricity. Electricity is a mystery. No one has ever observed it, or heard it, or felt it. I'm pretty sure people haven't felt it. You can get struck by a lightning fan or even touch an electric fence. We can see and hear and feel only what electricity does. What do you mean? What? And air, air is the same. Like, oh, you can feel the air in your face, but can you really- you can't feel the air. You can only feel that it's moving, which is what it does. You can use this for anything. We know that it makes light bulbs shine and ions heat up and telephones ring, but we cannot say what electricity itself it's like. It's just this magical juice you pump into a phone and it lights up. We cannot even say where electricity comes from. Uh-huh. Some scientists think that the sun may be the source of most electricity. <laughs> source of most energy on Earth? May- sort- sort of, but like, n no, not- like, not like that, what? Others think that the movement of the Earth produces some of it. All knows that electricity seems to be everywhere, and that there are many ways to bring it forth. How would you have to change the way you get ready? <laughs> what is this? 
What is science text? Oh my. Man, imagine if it was that easy to write like a scientific book. It's simply a mystery. Dashing. How would you have to change the way you get ready for school if you did not use electricity? The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. That's your source material for saying that electricity is a mystery? For the sake of argument, that all of the water levels around the world rise by... Oh, by, this is some 2016 NG YouTube days. Years. Say 10 feet. You think that people aren't going to just sell their homes and move? I know where this is going. <laughs> Just one small problem. Sell their houses to who, Ben? <laughs> Aquaman. <laughs> No, you just turn them into little fishy farms, and you grow land sharks! One time, this girl really hated me and wanted to ruin my reputation or something. So one day I was talking to a boy and she came up and really obnoxiously said, You know that she has a crush on you, right? <laughs> and he was like, Man, I hope so or else this is gonna be really awkward. She freaking told my boyfriend I liked him. Oh! Ah! Shoes! D unveils her new distressed sneaker collection. Retailing at $1,800. Well, that's one way of doing recycling, I guess. Jeesh. Not all of them can afford healthcare. They made that choice to go bare. Because they can't afford it. Well, because they don't want to pay for it. Well, because they can't afford it. People like a free lunch. And I'll be honest, if you're poor, stop being poor. <laughs> Get a GED, have a job for over a year. Alright then, so if you're poor, just stop being poor. That's a good idea. <laughs> Get good. How do we solve the homeless population? I, I just think the homeless should just get a home. You know, it's the solution is right there. It's so simple, you wouldn't believe it's real. Wow. A guy says he was questioned on the plane for doing math during a flight. A woman sitting next to the Ivy League economist told the flight crew she had security concerns about the man. After seeing him write in a foreign script, it turns out to be a differential equation. Well, lady, your concerns don't quite add up. Oh, yes. When I was five, I found out my grandpa had a twin. When I saw him after my grandpa's funeral, a freaking heads up would have been nice. That is so- Oh my god, can you imagine just go back to the reception and just- Grandpa? What the f- What? Yeah, that would have traumatized me for life. Jeesh. Masks are for slaves and criminals. Miniature Schnauzer mom! Yes, indeed! Masks are for criminals. Oh, you mean because, like, you know, the ye old cartoonish, with, when you have, like, a sock over your head robbing, sto robbing stores, and that's the same as a face mask, I, I, I guess. Is that, is that the argument? Not only hashtag Ukraine is supporting Nazi- What? Uh, okay. But also India. If you make research, you will know that 80% of hashtag Indians have no patience and curse you for speaking against what they want to listen. They can even kill you just for eating beef. Hashtag Nazi symbol is very important for them and worship it. Oh, gee. It's almost as if that symbol means something completely different in that part of the world and existed long before it went all bananas in Europe. Well, who would have thunk it? Different things can mean different things in different parts of the world. Ooh, what a flabbergasting concept. Homosexuality is not loving. Is one person and causing another person significant bodily pain and torture. Wink. A male PP was never meant to be inserted into the butt, and it leads to a ton of health issues if or when it is. Don't be gay. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't conceived via the anal nodish being so full of shite and all? Oh, yes, indeed. That's how poopy people are made. Mmm, yum. Where do these people come from? Dear God. You see, every school pew-pew uh, person was supposed to have a best friend, maybe two, that would have changed his life or talked him out of it. But those friends were aborted. So, so when a woman aborts a child, he also causes a school shooting. <laughs> Man, like, the mental gymnastics are bonkers. This would be like taking, you know, a 50 meter long long jump record, like world record. Th that's the level of mental gymnastic this is. It's not even humanly possible. So, so by your logic here, the larger the classes with people, the, the fewer incidents we would have. So, so if you have a, a class with only like 10 people, they're like guaranteed to have an incident. But if you have like 20, 30 people in a class, then it's like nothing bad is ever going to happen. That's, that's the argument you're making here. It's, uh, it's, it's weird, man. It's really weird. Karen tells Chinese bus driver in China to go back to China. You're in China. You're in China. You're in China. 
Oh my god, how did we become the dominant species on this planet? It blows my mind. That's the last thing for this video. Oh, thank god. I do hope you enjoyed this beautiful video. Ladies, losses and losses, because you're beautiful, you smell beautiful, and my god, you're beautiful. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.